Hi, I'm Fran Tarkington. November 22nd, 50 years ago, 1963. I'll never forget it. I was a 23-year-old quarterback for the Minnesota Vikings. We had practiced that morning at Midway Stadium in St. Paul, which we always did. I then went about half a mile to a lunch place. Grady Alderman, my offensive tackle, McTinglehoff, my center. And the three of us had, a, had lunch, and then we were going to go back to our homes. About a 30-minute drive. I got in my car, and across the radio came the news that President John F. Kennedy had been shot. As bad as that was. I never thought for a moment that he would not survive. The pundits on the radio were talking about the event and this, and they weren't alarmed. So I was sorry he was shot, but I felt very comfortable he wasn't killed. I get out of my car 30 minutes later, walk into my house, turn on the television. The television was already on. And I then heard the message and the announcement that President Kennedy was dead. We were glued to our television sets for all that Friday and Saturday and not knowing whether Commissioner Pete Rozelle was going to cancel the game or not, and we were talking to one another through the phones, and, and sometime Saturday we got the news that we were going to play the game. We were playing the Detroit Lions in Metropolitan Stadium in Bloomington, Minnesota. Cold, cold day, 1 o'clock game. We were playing the Detroit Lions. They were the bad boys. They had the toughest, meanest defense there was, and we had never beaten them since we came into the league in 1961. They had the great Alex Karras, who later became a, an actor, and a 300-pound defensive tackle, which was unheard of, Roger Brown. And Dick LeBeau was there. He's the, now the defensive coordinator and genius of the Pittsburgh Steelers for years. And I remember warming up for that game. Nobody talked. It was dead silence. No, in the stands, no booing, no cheering, no kibitzing between the players in the locker room. Before the game, nothing. We went out and played. Somebody asked me, you know, how, how'd you play? Well, you know, we're trained, we're trained athletes. We go out and we play. Turn on the switch and you play. We, we played with no emotion. It was silent. Never experienced anything like it in my life. We didn't talk to the other players, no kibitzing. We didn't cheer touchdowns. Uh, we didn't spike the ball. We had no emotion. We won the game. B big, big win for us. We had a big offensive day. Came into the locker room and nobody cheered. Nobody spoke. It was utter silence. And the respect and sadness that we had for the just inexcusable shooting and assassination of John F. Kennedy. I'll never forget it, and I hope you won't either.